okay guys i'm back and now we are going to solve a numerical which is related to the power series method so we're going to solve a differential equation using the power series method so do one thing take a sheet of paper and a pen and you can note the question so the question is solve the differential equation dy by dx is equal to y using the power series method okay if you are good with theory behind power series method let's proceed if you are not that good with the theory behind power series method i would suggest you pause this video and watch my previous video where i explain the theory behind the power series method anyway let's proceed so look at this in this method what we do is we pretend as if we know the answer we pretend as if this is our solution so take a look at this this is the first order differential equation and it's in terms of dy by dx so our solution will be the value of y which will be in terms of x so we assume that the value of y is this power series power series in the sense you can see that x has powers like 1 2 3 etc okay now the second thing we convert this power series into the summation format which i explained in the previous video so make sure you write the values of y as well as dy by dx and if it is a second order differential equation you must note y y dash and y double dash where dash stands for the differentiation okay so we are here so look at this the solution satisfies its own equation and what is the equation dy by dx equal to y so instead of dy by dx i have this value this summation and instead of y i have this so look this is what we get okay so i hope you're okay with this step now what we do is we are going to find the coefficient of x to the power m so in the next step what we are planning to do is we are going to find the coefficient of x to the power m we are going to make the powers of x to the value m and the method is very easy what we do is we take a look at the first summation can you tell me the power of x yeah it is k minus 1 so i want k minus 1 to become m this is a summation so we put values for k as 1 2 3 etc now my question is for what value of k will i get the power as m so i want the power to become m that means I should input the value a, k is equal to m plus 1. Now take a look at the second summation. Here the power of x is k. That means if I replace k with m, I will get the coefficient of x to the power m. Okay. So look at this. I have the same step here. And for the summation on the left, the power is k minus 1. So, I am equating it to m. That means, I have to put k is equal to m plus 1. So, I hope this is clear. If we put k is equal to m plus 1 in the first summation, then we get the coefficient of x power m. Similarly, you put k equal to m for the second summation, we get the coefficient of x power m on the right side so I have that step so that okay. so look at this 
I am replacing k with the value m plus 1. So k will become m plus 1. A k will become a m plus 1. And that's the story on the left side. And for the right side, it replace k with the value m. Okay. Now look at this. We have the reduction formula. Remember, when you try to form the reduction formula, you should always keep the bigger subscript in terms of the smaller one. So, I have the value for a m plus 1. So, look at this. a m plus 1 is given by a m by m plus 1. Now, things are really, really, really easy. You put m equal to 0. When you put m equal to 0, you get a1 is equal to a0 by 1. That's, you get the value of a1. And when you put m equal to 1, you get the value of a1 plus 1, and that is a2 is equal to a1 by 1 plus 1. So, you get a2 equal to a0 by 2. Substitution is in the screen and I hope you still have that pen and paper. Make sure you work out these things by yourself. And I do explain something very, very important. The differential equation we are solving right now is the first order differential equation. And previously, in the video where I explain about solutions, I told you a first order differential equation will end up with one arbitrary constant. I hope you still remember that. A first order differential equation, once solving, once you solve a first order differential equation, our solution will contain one arbitrary constant. And as you notice, you are not able to solve for A0. You are getting the value starting from A1, A2, A3. Oh, there is a small mistake. Please correct it. It is A3. Okay. So, you are getting the values A1, A2, A3, etc. All in terms of A0. See? So, A0 will be that arbitrary constant. So, let us move ahead for the last step. So, look at this. By equation 1. Do you remember equation 1? have copied it over here in the beginning we assumed let this be the solution now I know the value of a1 what is a1 yeah it's the same as a0 I know the value of a2 what is a2 a0 by 2 factorial I know the value of a3 that is a0 by 3 factorial and it becomes something like this See, we solve the equation dy by dx is equal to y using power series method. And it is a first order differential equation. So, you have to expect one arbitrary constant. Okay. Those who watched uh, the video, like two videos before, in which I explain the meaning of solution. I solve the same equation using variable separable method and at that time I got this answer and can you identify this series I think you might have learned this in class 12th as the exponential series so let's move on to the next question so, are you ready with your pen and paper? So, please write the question. Solve the differential equation 1 minus x square y double dash minus 2x into y dash plus 2y equal to 0 using Complete it please. Yeah. The power series method. Okay. So, we have a second order differential equation here. What's the order of the differential equation? Yeah, second order. And I can see someone along with the highest order. And in the theory, 
in our last video I told it told you that we will call this as P and we have to make sure P is not equal to 0 when X is not equal to I'm sorry I'm sorry we have to make sure P is not equal to 0 We have to make sure P is not equal to 0 when X is equal to 0. And such a point will be called ordinary point or non-singular point. And only if X equal to 0 is a non-singular point, then only we will be able to apply our power series method. And that's exactly what I did here. Okay. What will happen when you put x equal to 0 in 1 minus x square? It doesn't vanish. By the way, what do you mean by vanish? Yeah, vanish in mathematics means the value will be equal to 0. Okay. So, x equal to 0 is an ordinary point. And the good news is, we can apply the power series method. So, how do you start power series method? Yeah, we just assume, let y equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus dot 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 to be the required solution. We pretend as if we know the solution. And this is a second order differential equation. So make sure you note y, y dash and y double dash in the sigma format. Okay. Now can you guess the next step? What am I supposed to do in the next step? Yeah, the solution will satisfy the equation. So, I'm going to put all these things, y, y dash, y double dash in my equation. But this equation is a little bit, uh, what do you call it? It looks complicated. So, let's make it in this format. So, this was the first page and now we have something over here. And I'm expanding. I think you're okay with this step. So let's move ahead. Yeah. This is a little bit complicated. So take your own time. You can pause the video and write the values of y double dash, y dash, and y. And you end up like this. And then you can take this x square inside. Okay. What is a to the power m into a to the power n? That is a to the power m plus n. As you see here, we have x square outside the summation and x to the power k plus k minus 2 inside the summation. The summation depends on k. So, you can take this x square inside the summation. I will repeat, the summation depends on k. So, we can take x square inside the summation. So, you will get x square and x to the power k minus 2. Once you simplify this using this identity, we get x to the power k. And that is how I got this. And then you take this 2x inside, etc. So I hope you are comfortable till here. Now, do you remember what we did in the last numerical? Yeah, we want the coefficient of x to the power m on both sides. Yeah, I have written both sides, but the right side is very easy. There is no one on the right side, so the right side, of course, will be equal to 0. Okay, now I want you to focus on this power. So, take a look at the first summation. The power is k minus 2. What is the power? k minus 2. I want this power to be equal to m. That means, I am supposed to substitute k is equal to m plus 2. What am I supposed to do? I should put k is equal to m plus 2. So, we get m plus 2 and then the quantity inside the bracket will become m plus 2 minus 1 
and this one will become a m plus 2 so I'll get the first term and now take a look at the power in the second summation it's k so I should convert k to m that means I have to put k is equal to m so I'll get m m minus 1 a m so I hope you're okay with this this and this now what do you do next yeah the reduction formula and you have to be extra careful when you write the reduction formula you should write the bigger subscript in terms of the smaller one okay so I have the step here and then it becomes something like this and then this one and finally this so we have our production formula okay now the last and the most important thing the equation which we are trying to solve here is a second order differential equation and like I mentioned in the video where, I, where we discuss about solutions I told you a second order differential equation will end up with two arbitrary constants so remember when you substitute the values for m when you put m equal to 0 1 2 3 etc you're going to get the values a2 a3 a4 etc in terms of a0 and a1 I'll repeat we are trying to solve a second order differential equation and a second order differential equation will have two arbitrary constants and that will be our a0 and a1 so I have the steps over here I'm putting m equal to 0 and I'm sure that you'll have no difficulty in this part and then I put m equal to 1 and then m equal to 2 and then 3 and then 4 now what should we do do you remember the beginning in the beginning what was equation number 1 we pretended as if we know the answer and we assumed that the answer is a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared plus etc 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 now we know a2 a3 a4 a5 etc so substitute and simplify so are you okay with the method okay so we'll be doing a few more numericals in the next video till then bye